Hello, 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 you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Chris. Nice to see you. And welcome back to Holomus. And it is day eight of 25 days of Animal Crossing. Cannot believe we are already a week in. It feels like it is going very slow, but it also feels like it is flying by. Of course, I am also on a uh, call for jury duty right now, which of course is not helping because I have to call every night to see if I have to show up at the courthouse tomorrow. Thankfully, tomorrow I don't have to go. So far, I haven't had to. But today, we are back on the Halloween side of things. We are over here at Rodeo's house. And we are going to be making him a candy store. So he is going to be running the candy shop on this side of Halamis. Show you where we are on the map. So we are standing just right over here on the right side. As you can see, I currently have nine villagers. Tybalt, Tybalt, oh my goodness. Tybalt actually asked to move, and I just did the villager hunt real quick while I was at work. It was going to be one less thing I had to worry about. So I'm going to run over here to the Christmas side of things real quickly, because that's where our new villager's house is going to be for the time being. It only took three tickets, and we have Pietro coming to live over on Holomus. I'm actually really, really excited to have him. As soon as I saw him, I knew what build I wanted to do for him. So once we get over to doing his build, because I think the next build for... Oh, hi, Flurry. We'll let her talk to me. Probably a reaction. Oh, an item. Sunglasses. You can use some butterfly shades. Well, I guess let's see how they look. See if Flurry... Um, actually, I kind of like the purple. I think we're going to leave them on. <laughs> I'm on the Halloween side of things. Why not? Anyway, I was saying, um, Snowflake's next build is going to be a tree farm, which I'm going to record after this, uh, well, after I eat something. The Christmas side of things for Hallowmas might also be a tree farm. I have not decided yet. Rolf has the post office. Flurry's got the cafe. Sasha's got the bakery. You know, I think Sprinkle would be really, really funny running the tree farm. So I think we're going to go ahead and do her. We'll do her up on the second level. So I think that may be next. And then for Snowflake, I don't know what I'm going to do after that. Um, I'm still debating on if I'm going to pre-record Monday's video tonight since I close and then open on Tuesday. We're going to wait and see. We're going to go ahead and get started here. So, same question I ask, of course, every single time. Now, shoot, I only have four of these customized to the candy one I'm using, so I'm going to have to... Uh, we'll grab out four and see what we want. Blah, 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 see what we end up with. <laughs> anyway, grab these to start off with. I'm going to grab one of these. I need the arch. Uh, grab him a street lamp, and then two stalls. I have some custom codes that I'm going to use, and of course he needs some Halloween decorations. I may or may not give him the spooky carriage, pull out the festival garlands, get past some Christmas stuff here. And only got a couple more spooky lanterns. I'm going to have to go get more. Of course, he's going to get the candy set. And we're also going to put out a couple of these spooky treat baskets. All right. But how was everybody's Friday? Tomorrow is the weekend, finally. Unfortunately, it is my weekend to work. So I will... Um, Unfortunately, not be home tomorrow for most of the day, which is why I am at least pre-recording tomorrow's video tonight because I won't get home until late. I have a coworker who needs a ride home. I'm usually her go-to for rides, which can get annoying, but I mean, it's fine. 
She doesn't drive anymore. She ended up in actually a very bad wreck on her way to work one day. And she's in her 60s. I mean, her eyesight is failing, but this truck, he was flying. He was driving way too fast for where the intersection was, and she just couldn't move in time. And she tried. I, I had the day off. Thankfully, I was not there because I'd have freaked. But she tried. She tried to go to work, and she was in shock, and she, you know, covered in blood. Thankfully, no serious injuries for her. I don't know about the other driver. But yeah, she tried to come into work, and the manager was like, y you need to go home. Y you cannot be here. Which was a bummer, because I'm sure that's where she would have rather have been. But I don't blame him at the same time. So I tend to be her go-to person for rides, which, like I said, some days it gets annoying. Some days it's fine. Uh, let's see. I found these earlier, actually. Oh, crap. I'm gonna have to do this this way, I think. Because I actually want the candy bowls to be showing. Let's see. Display here. Much better. Okay. Their hat des des design, so I mean they're not gonna they're not gonna look the greatest. But I think they work, and I actually really really like these. I just happened to find them on Google earlier. I'm gonna add them to my. I'm gonna see if I can hunt them down on Pinterest and add them to my Holomus board. I am. Um, Working on finishing getting together my snowflake one so that way I can get that posted for you guys um, Hopefully by the island tour But I will try to get it linked sooner if I can get it done Same with the Holomus one which I really need to focus on because I have already started like I said a couple of times on my next like three or four islands, which is <laughs> Not a good thing All right, that actually looks super cute. I like that and we have an archway, because of course I already did the pathing because that was just going to take far too long. I probably should have done the fencing, but I didn't because, you know, um, I just forgot. <laughs> Do a... Well, um, so this is just my pumpkin patch that I'm using right now for anything I have to craft. I actually don't know if I want this walkable. I think I may actually put just uh, just put trees there, actually, and block it off so it can be like a forest almost. Because we are actually that's not your map. Because we are practically to the right side of the island where you can see me standing, and so we don't have much more room going this direction. So we're going to kick this away. And just right here. Wow, can I press the right thing or what? Let's put down our corner piece. Okay, and then the rest of this is just going to be Halloween decorations. I'm going to get out the fencing first. I'm going to use the spooky fencing for rodeo. Uh, I should still have a bunch. At least I better. Okay, yeah, I do. And we will be off and running with this. Hopefully 50 pieces is enough. If not, I of course have plenty more. But how is, how's everybody's December going in general? So far, mine's been good. Um, the closer we get to Christmas, the harder time I have um, with my mom not being here. My dad and my stepmom, of course, live in Kansas, but my dad's also a long haul truck driver, so he's on the road. So they are unfortunately not going to make it back. So it'll be much like Thanksgiving. We'll see my in-laws. And my sisters will be working, so I don't know exactly when I'm going to see them. But one of the presents I got for my baby sister, um, she's 28. Wait, no, 29. My manager is 28. Co-manager. Uh, Build-A-Bear had a 
and I think still has, it's probably up on the website, a 25 inch, so this thing is huge. It's a giant stitch plush, and this girl is obsessed with stitch. So I got her that. That's gonna be her big gift, and I'm gonna find her some smaller stitch things to go along with it. And for the middle sister, who is obsessed with Pokemon, she is getting, now I couldn't find a 25 inch one, but I found a 24 inch Pikachu on Amazon. Actually, you know what? I might take that pathway down here so that way we can get into the pumpkin patch. So we're gonna pull these away, which means I'm gonna have to edit the pathway, but that's fine. So I'm gonna have to wrap both of these plushies in bike, like bike gift bags because they are that big. And I pulled this stitch out of the box because I wanted to look at him. He's heavy. So it's just, it's absolutely cracking me up. Um, I think we'll have to pull that piece just so, well, mm. you know what? Let me grab another spooky arch. We will see here, because I didn't realize actually until I was putting the fencing just how close we were to the graveyard. So let's drop this, which means the pathing, whoops, not that, pathing's going to be a little awkward, but I think... I actually think, yeah, that'll work. Um, it's going to be a little weird to walk to and from, but that'll be fine. So I'm going to grab my storage shed and everything to have it in here with me so I don't have to go in and out all the time. And we're going to edit the path in real quick. This part shouldn't take too long, but I'm going to have to put my helmet on because I think think it's not quite a straight shot not quite a diagonal straight shot at least but it should be it should be easy enough so here we go let's see if this will line up Oh my sweet baby Jesus, it does. All right. Awesome sauce. That that makes that so much easier. I admit the pathing looks um, very strange. But, I mean, this is a Halloween side of the island. So, I mean, stuff is supposed to look strange. Get these last two pieces down. And then we are ready to just start decorating. Now I have spooky tree. I don't have any more decayed trees, so I'm gonna have to make myself some, which is a bummer, but I will actually just put uh, my storage shed and this just right up here. Let's get hardwood out. I already have my customization kits because I was working on the simple panels and the stalls before starting to record. Because I mean the heart, Decay trees don't take too long. With simple panels, I had to fly to see Cyrus because I didn't have enough in black. And trying to go to a treasure island to find what I needed was just taking way too long. That's how I ended up with those hat coats for the candy bowls. Because I was going to try and find the cotton candy and the donuts and the ice creams and the pop... Well, maybe not the poppers. Those will be for a different build. And I just, I couldn't find them. And my switch, my game closed down on me for some reason. Something error code. So I'm keeping an eye on it and hoping and praying. I took customization kits. Hoping that it doesn't close on me while I'm mid-video. Because that just will, that I, I would start screaming probably. And <laughs> probably just not even record. Which is not a good thing. I need to... I don't need to, but I want to keep up with these videos because I am actually having a fun time. It's just a lot with my job. And trying to keep an eye on my arm. It's been feeling better, but now my hand is starting to really shake. 
I think part part of it is I'm hungry. And I have a pizza thawing out on the top of the stove to make real quick after I finish this video, because the next two shouldn't take too terribly long to build. Alright, so start with our codes here. Let's start with some bats. And right here is going to go um, Spooky Tower. Or do I want the... No, I want the street lamp right here. Thinking out loud, trying to think ahead. So, street lamp. I'm almost positive I grabbed one. Yep. Um, onto the spider, please. Thank you much. And right in here, I think, is going to go one of the decayed... Hmm, maybe? Let's see. Okay, let me turn it and... I can push it forward. Uh, hmm. I think no. I think no. I need to get my shovel out, actually, because I'm going to use some flowers in his yard. Of course, I am running with black, purple, and orange tulips. So I need my shovel. And we'll go get a couple of each. I still need to figure out what I'm going to do with all these fruit trees. I have not even thought about it yet. I've probably planted way too many. Oh, hi, Gulliver. Um, I'm just going to Oh, fudge. Alright, guess we'll go get my golden shovel. Hopefully that lasts. Let's see. And then I guess if it doesn't, we can always just run over to the other side to milk some. Bye, one! Which I would prefer not to. I think we've wasted enough time just running back and forth across this island so far. I know the past few builds on this side I have, you know, added a little bit of a more movie feel to it, almost. I mean, I guess the graveyard really didn't get much, but it's a graveyard. I'm not entirely sure, actually, what to do for the candy store. Um, I don't know if you guys would have any ideas or anything, because I really don't know. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm kind of drawing a blank. Eh, I mean, I like I said, I don't like watching horror movies, but I can always, you know, pull out something from the horror movie genre, I suppose. Uh, I think I actually want to pull this forward. And over one. Yeah, that works. And then on top of that, uh, get this. Alright, that looks good. And right there, I suppose, maybe do a decayed tree. I mean, I don't necessarily want you guys to be able to get to these bowls. They are just kind of there for decoration's sake. Let's see. Okay. I think I'm getting the hang of this now. I say this. I say that. I will totally fudge her up next time. Okay, so, whoops, too far back. So we have our decayed tree. We're gonna add a flower. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and do the spooky tree just right here. It fills in the space a little bit, and I will actually go grab. I can dig. Yes, I can. I'm going to go grab a bush. Because I actually didn't grab any bushes. 
I have those. They're too blue, though, and I have these, which these will work. I need to get the hydrangeas in. Uh, is this Azalea? Yeah, the hydrangeas and the tea olives over here. And use those, because those are a little bit darker in color, at least. And this. And then right here, since it's bigger space, is going to go our carriage. Oh, and that fits actually just perfectly right there. Alright, awesome. And then... Actually... No, you need to come out of there. I was not thinking. Because I have a short, simple panel that says, of course, trick or treat. Let's be in the candy store. So we'll actually do the spooky tower right here. The spider web down. Whoops. Alright, there we go. And we'll do a decayed tree right in here. I am going to get this so wrong, but we're gonna try this out anyway and see if I can. Oh? Maybe? Well, I'll be. Nice that. I'm going to go get a another bush, and I think I want another street lamp. So spider right here. And then I need to figure out this big area yet. It's not really big, big, but it's a bigger, bigger-ish area. Go ahead and just grab one of these. Using the same bush gets a little boring after a while. Get something out. Ah, uh, I suppose I could use a couple of balloons. Uh, grab a couple green, because the red just... I mean, I've used one red balloon over here already, because, um, well, we all float down here. <laughs> uh street lamp. I have so many of these in black. It's insane. Oh, I forgot about these. Okay, we'll grab a couple of those. Definitely need one of those. I have these skeletons, but I think I'm going to use those elsewhere. Uh, the orange cruiser bike. We can go ahead with the orange cruiser bike. A phone box. I wish these came in green or orange. Wait. Oh, no, no. I'm thinking of a different movie. I'm thinking of a different movie. All right, we're going to grab him a fire pit. We'll grab this anyway. I mean, I guess you can throw somebody into a wood chipper. I, <laughs> I guess? Mm. All right, get this. This should be the last thing we are digging up. And we need our other street lamp. I don't think I'm going to end up using these festival garlands, which is fine. The fire pit. And I guess... Where is it? No, uh, it's smaller than I expected it to be. Oh, and it doesn't even run for very long. Nah, that's boring. So, I guess right here we will add... You know what? Let me move the fire pit. I'm gonna put Rodeo's cruiser bike right here. And of course, it's an orange. He's all parked. Ready to start his work day. Um, fire pit, where'd you go? There you are. There we go. And then, right here will be our steel trash can, which is, of course, doubling as our 
Mailbox. I don't even remember what I have on it, if anything, at all. Oh, just a spider. Eh, that works. <laughs> and we'll do the phone box. It's a little hard to see the spider, but I think it fits. Some bats. Hi, Raymond. I still need to do his... I still need to do his build. Um... Okay, that's the side with the... <laughs> that's the side with the handle. You want to be able to use that one to get in. And a flower... I have not used any of these spooky treats baskets yet. Um, I'm almost afraid to drop one because I'm afraid. Yeah, it's just going to be a little bag. All right, that's not going to work. We'll have to use those inside. And actually, what I think we're going to put here is another spooky tree. Plop down. Uh, not there. I bet it can't go where I was standing because of the um, fire pit. Can I dig right there? And yeah, we'll go grab another bush. Plant that there. These purple flowers are going to be right in line with each other. But that's fine. I'll go grab one more bush. And then we're going to call this build done. Now, I unfortunately don't have everything I need to be able to do the inside of Rodeo's house justice with making it a candy store. So that is unfortunately a build, part of the build that I'm either going to have to do off camera or I am going to, oh, I bet I can't even put the spooky tree here, can I? Probably not, not because of the flowers. Hmm, na, 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 na. Oh, glowing moss. Why didn't I think about that? Okay, I'll go get that. And another spooky tree while I'm at it. See if I can get one in here. So the inside of Rodeo's house is unfortunately going to have to be either off camera or on a different video. Um, because I just don't have... Why does this never go in order like everything else? I just... Whoops. Spooky tree. Because I just don't have everything that I need yet to be able to, like I said, do it justice. So that may be another video that because I was having trouble deciding what I was going to do for, let's see. Because I know what I'm doing for Snowflake tomorrow. Helimus is Sunday. Snowflake is Monday. So we'll have to, we'll have to see. If I do it off camera though, of course there will be, there will be pictures up on my Instagram. There always are. I did that with Snowflake yesterday. I ended up adding a bunch more stuff off camera. Oh, that actually fills that in nicely. I don't even need any glowing moss. Uh, no. Oh. Well, day in the life. Let's see if I can put down the coat underneath if I have enough room. I should? Question mark. Um, <laughs> we're gonna find out. Because then I desperately need to go eat. As I'm sure my pizza at this point is completely thought out, which honestly is fine with me. It's gonna save me a lot of time, so that way I can get to the next video. So with that, we are done for today. I'm gonna go ahead and take my helmet off. Yes, I am done. Raymond is over there checking out the flowers. And with that, Rodeo's can well, the outside at least of Rodeo's candy store. And I'm actually not going to customize it the outside of his house because the outside of his house fits perfectly. But this is done. We are all set and ready to go. I'm going to get this uploaded. Hopefully, this will take a lot less time than yesterday's video took. Oy, laptops have been moving at a snail's pace. I'm going to go. I'm going to get something to eat. 
And I will, for me, talk to you guys in about a half hour or so. But for the video, I will see you guys tomorrow with day nine. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!